Hey folks, I'm Surveying Glory, and welcome to part 71 of my playthrough as Marmorus in Crusader Kings 2. And as you can see, we are now Ungvar. We are the Kingdom of Ungvar and also the King of Magyar. Uh, we decided enough was enough last time out and declared war for independence from Croatia. So, we need to sort out the kingdom now, and I'm going to start by looking at our council. So you're the Count of Hebes, and you desire anything? Not really. Okay, so Hebes is part of the Duchy of Pest, and I don't think I hold Pest actually, no I don't. Who are you? Croatian Revolt. Okay, well, once you've finished your revolt, we'll probably come and usurp that land from you. Let's bring our uh, retinue back up. Okay, so the, nothing to be done there. Nobody else is part of my dynasty. You... Ah, your ear is a kinsman of me. Ah, yes, because this is a matrilineal marriage. So it may as well give you Red Ruthenia, although my ear is also in here. You are an advisor. To be honest, I think I'd rather. Yeah, and you've got two sons as well. Um, yeah. You're the steward. We'll grant you the landed title of Redruthenia. The council. Don't like it because you're unlanded and you should get the title. You think it should be yours? You think you should get it because you're unlanded? Okay, well, we're going to be tyrant then, I guess. Which is unfortunate, but I'd rather have people like this on side. What else do I hold? Uh, I'm going to keep Ungvar and Transylvania. Yes. So, Pex, who's down here? The, you. In fact, you hold. I'm going to have to sort this out as well, now that we're a kingdom. Not have people spread across different duchies where we can avoid it. Nitria. Okay, I hold both of them. So let's make you uh, Duke of Nitria. And again, we will be Tyrant. Never mind. That makes him incredibly strong. So we need to make sure you stay in our, I'll be staying your good side. Down here, yeah, it was you. You get that duchy. Okay. So you can raise fifteen hundred troops. A lot of people under you. No, too many. Okay, too many counties. Why don't you? Well, I'm your heir. No, I'm not your heir. Duke Constant is your heir. This is quite complex now. No, hang on. 
Yeah. Can we get a patrol though? How about to Sergio? Let's go ahead and do that, keep it in the family. Right, uh, that's the Duchess dealt with. I'm keeping the rest, I think, yeah. Ungvan Transylvania, we only hold Marmarus. Spiz, Berig, Bear. So I want this and this. And I like about who do you? Who's your liege? All right. I suppose. You can raise 2,300 troops. Strengthen that too much. Looking for a young woman of my dynasty, but there are none. I'm not going to get a seat on the council. Okay, when you die, we just take the title for ourselves. Have a new heir. I suppose I should look at that as well, shouldn't I? Ah, yes, I shall be honoured to officiate His Majesty's coronation, provided that His Majesty donates a small sum of money to the Holy Mother Church as a show of his devotion. 50 gold. Let's go ahead and do that. Now that I have found a Catholic priest willing to crown me, I must decide how much I wish to spend on the ceremony leading up to it. Hmm. I'm really tempted to go for the greatest feast of the century. Let's do it. Budget deficit, that's fine, we're making quite a bit of money. Only a few more days remain before I am crowned king before God and all my subjects. My court is filling with distinguished guests, both vassals and foreign dignitaries come to bear witness to this fundamental moment of my reign. Such a lavish ceremony is a rare spectacle to behold, even amongst royalty. Never be soon enough. My celebrations have been interrupted by a heated argument between Duke Stefan and Bishop Zabergen about the nature of devotion. I should probably put a stop to this before things escalate further. Duke Stefan. Well, I think I really need to stick on the side of the clergy. Yeah. This morning a curious visitor came to my court, a wandering scholar who travelled to Marmaris after hearing news of my upcoming coronation. He claims that he has heard many tales of what a wise and virtuous ruler I am, and wishes to put his knowledge to my service. Yes, you are welcome. I have a new ear. Uh, that's my daughter, I think, yes. Dangerous factions. During what transfer of power, pray tell? Mm, not entirely sure, but let's check this out. We've lost our marshal. That's what happened. Duke Costin of Nitria. Here's my kinsman after all. I would like to make you 
because you're a loyalist, but you should hopefully become 100% on my side if I make you yep, the marshal. And go ahead, research military tech for me for now. And fortunately, a court chaplain's position has opened up. There we go. Anywhere needing converted? No. But I can press a claim in here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, does your claim? Tiny chic them down there, it's not a concern to me. Okay. Good to go then. Well, let's just check. How many troops can I actually raise? 2,200, you can raise... Okay, we should be fine. So let's go ahead, do that. Declare war. Does your claim send? Uh, raise just our personal levy. And we'll get in there as quickly as we can. Coronation of King Vlad. As the yells of the commanders delivering troops echo in the tent, Bishop Zabergan gives me a quick blessing and summarily places a crown upon my head, proclaiming me King of Ungvar by grace of God. Battlefield commission, as it were. Right, that'll do you and... Who is going to lead this? I think Sergius would be better. And we've got plenty of space for uh, commanders, obviously. Let's see if we can get any siege leaders. Search all um, men, adults, diplo range, and willing to join court one. Okay, come and join us. And we will appoint your commander. And how good are you actually? Defence and Siege. Good enough. You can lead. And you come in here as well. Two competent contenders are fighting for a position in Marmaris, training the levies there. My gut tells me to choose the younger man who has risen through the ranks fast, whilst my wife Camilla is urging me to choose the older man who has never risen above the rank of sergeant. Content. I don't think I want to go for that. Um, sorry, wife. There we are. Victory. Now let's just do a bit of back and forward as usual. And check out the dangerous faction later. Smash them this time, and don't think so. Alright. And this time, this must be it, surely. And we've caught somebody. Perfect. And keep a hold of them for the war score. And this is your friend coming to help, is it? You going for Marmaris? Now we should uh, siege down much quicker than you, I would have thought. Court Chaplain Radovan burst into my chambers, flanked by several men at arms, driving, dragging Chichek, the unfaithful, with them in chains. Um. What do we do? Take the piety. Let's bring out the branding iron. 
During my wife's recent visit to Arajan, we had a great time discussing etc etc. A wonderful idea. Ah, we have a relic. Let's have a look at it then. Yin Calligraphy. Month of Prestige and City Vassal Opinion. Nice. Let's get our battle axe out. Rather than a skull. Okay, so you speed down through here before they finish theirs. Chud, um, wonderful idea. I should have checked actually if that's one of the places in here. I might have wanted to go and hit it, and these guys are sending up more troops. Hopefully, we're going to get this siege done. Uh, before they get, you, you're going to have to seize that down, complete it before you come in on me. We'll get this one down first. Made it. How are you, how are you marching in? You are unfortunate. There we go. Stand the men down. Retinues back up to Marmorus. So I want this. Hmm. I don't suppose you would be willing to give me the guy? No, okay. That's fine, I can live with that. Okay, 3,000 troops is all we can raise. Astonishingly poor. My physician has been asking for permission to travel to the hospital in Marmaris to study there for a time. He will need some financing to cover the cost of the journey and for staying in the hospital. 10 gold, we can afford that easily. You want a quarter of mine to marry your commander. Yep, I will accept. What's your opinion of me? 36. I would like to stay on your good side, I think. Um, okay, doesn't look any... Well, that's your daughter, isn't it? Yeah. No, I don't have any members of my dynasty. Okay. Forget that then. We'll come back to that in the future. I was thinking about <laughs> Italy. It's a potential ally, but you're struggling. Um, King of Italy. War's going in your favour. You like me a bit. How about betrothal? Morris, is that? Prince Morris of Italy. Would you be prepared to a bet uh, accept a betrothal to my daughter? Cheeky. Eh? You would. Well, let's do that. Hopefully Italy survives whole and strong and we can get an alliance. Okay, and you want... Yeah, okay, fine. You can have him for a favour. And I have an open council position now. Um, who do I appoint as advisor? Stefan, Duke of Pex. You like me well enough. You're not a member of my dynasty, but then... Uh, 
Um, do you... That would give me another loyalist. So... I was thinking I would like to try and get this up into the positive. But on the other hand, three loyalists on the council is a rare thing to get. So let's see what we can do. And get that through. Mm -hmm. What's best? I think I really want this. Okay, go for that. No, do want to be unwell. Okay, what's that treatment we're going to get? To rid you of your ailments, Nikita ordered you to sleep hanging upside down for a couple of days. It will rebalance you, he assured you. Plus five health, that's good. Glad I heard you. However, I'd rather have Radovan as our court physician. And a designated regent. Now let's revisit this. Um, again, I'm looking for people in my dynasty. But everybody seems to be liking me well enough. So we can just go with uh, either... What are we costing? Try and really keep him on the good side. It's not ambitious. Neither Stefan, but... This guy, I think, potentially more of a threat. So, and speaking of threats, seniority succession in Magyar. You. Um. Is it worth plotting to kill this guy? I think it is, because he doesn't have an ear. So, get you out of that faction. Uh, you've approved the law. Very good. Let's get you building a spy network in there. to invite backers. Having stayed at the hospital in Marmaris, my physician has arrived back at court today. The visit was not as productive as he would have wished. He gained one learning. Okay, let's see now. So the next, I have ducal claims there. There, I think. And down here. I'm not taking these guys on. I don't want to attack Italy. <laughs> Can't declare war. Because she's not independent, she just lost. So we're stuck where we are then. We might need to start taking bits of Croatia. Let's bring you out from there and we'll put you across here instead. I'm not going to hold a grand tournament. We've got absolutely tons of cash. It's about time we started improving our own holdings again. So let's see what we can do in here. Plus 
plus five percent tax income would be lovely plus four but I don't particularly need it yeah, we'll go for the keep Get that started in there bit egg Hmm. Yeah, go to our training ground. We'll leave it to that for now. So how's my vassals thinking of me? These guys aren't that powerful. Looking not too bad. King Vlad the second tenth of Alvar inherited the Beresty tribe from Chief Grigor. Okay. Where is this place? <laughs> I've always wondered why I held that. Let's get rid of it. Uh, here. Create a new vassal. Do I want to upgrade to a castle? Why would I do that? It's not mine. Okay. Found another apostate. Who is it this time? Right. Um. Yeah, burn the apostate. Haven't had a good bonfire for a while. And that means... Oh no! Is that who it went to or is he automatically transferred that vassalage? Now... A courtier. Yep, yeah, okay, we'll accept that. The faithful prepare for war. A messenger approaches us with a letter from the Vatican, from the Vicar of Christ himself. Uh, so a crusade against Jerusalem. My men are ready, such as they are. I need a crusade beneficiary selected. This guy? Or Milos? Yes. Actually, let's just see. Target. We will wait until other crusading armies have headed past us, and then we might send some guys across as well. Threaten that vassal. Get up to stop what they're doing. You're forgiven. Okay, well, I think I'm going to put in a break here. When we come back in the next part, we might well be joining the crusade with a few troops. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. And I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.